If you're a cafe, pub, bar or restaurant, Nobly POS could be a good point of sale system for you. It's built specifically for hospitality and we'd consider Nobly a mid-range EPOS system. And it's especially good if you're after speedy front end. This video is going to take you through the Nobly app on an iPad, an iOS device, but watch out, the Nobly app doesn't work for Android devices, although you can log into the back office on any web browser. The first till is £39 per month, and then any additional tills are £25. You can easily cancel your subscription because it's done on a monthly basis. Throughout the walkthrough, I'm going to be comparing Nobly features to other POS systems that do similar things. Their main competitor is the Good Till, while Touch Bistro and Lightspeed Restaurant have a more advanced suite of features. iZettel Pro is a similar price point, but we find that it's less popular amongst hospitality merchants. The Good Till is £29 per month, so it's a little cheaper than Nobly, although you might find that Nobly's multi-store management is slightly better. The details can get a little fiddly, so do give us a call to find out more. We're Stalkit, a group of specialists that guide merchants of any kind with their POS system, their software, hardware and payments. We'll sort your POS bundle from start to finish for free. In a quick phone call, our experts can devise a perfect POS system that will save you money. To get started, you need to click the link in the description of this video to download the software. All you need to get started is your name, a business name, an email address and a password login. And you can initially get access to a two week trial period. I'm now signing into the app using my email and password. There's a pretty good support system available. Nobly has a London team and you can ring them 24 seven for customer service. Nobly integrates with a variety of payment facilitators such as iZettle, SumUp, PaymentSense and some merchant banks. This means you need to connect your iPad to a card reader in order to take card payments. To connect to your hardware, just go straight to settings. Tap these three lines in the left hand corner and a sidebar will pop up. And this takes you to Nobly's other app features. So go to settings. This is where you add your hardware, like your printer, as well as set up your payments. You can also set your barcode scanner to be your iPad camera. Let's go to the front office now. So this is what the cashier's screen will look like when you first log into the app. To invoice your customer with a bill, just tap charge and it will pop up with the amount that has been saved to the bill. You might want to keep hold of the bill for further courses like your main or your dessert. So press park bill to save it for later. You can also add notes, add wastage, print the bill or discard it too. Next, we're going to look at the manager dashboard. This is a very basic, updated day by day log of your sales broken up for this register or for all of your registers. Then cash management at the start of the working day, file the amount of cash in your drawer and open the register. If there are any payments in throughout the day, you just click pay in and enter the cash going into the register. If you want to make a refund, go to transactions and press refund bill. You can print or send an email receipt here. And you can also add a tip to the bill. Under parked bills, you can find the tabs for your different diners. Unlike the good till, the tab creation comes as standard here. So if you have the good till, you need to pay extra for this hospitality feature. You might find that Lightspeed has better table management and we've got a whole video dedicated to Lightspeed's POS features. So that was the Nobly app. Now we're going to take you to their back office, which you can access in your web browser. And an easy way of accessing your back office is to go to your manager dashboard. And there's also a little button that you can press, which will take you to the back office and you'll need to log in again. 
So even before you start selling, you'll need to set up your library of items first. And you do this in your back office. So go to the products tab. You can either add individual products or you can bulk import products in a templated CSV file. Under products, you can set the SKU number. You can also add the price and the markup, the tax, and select the option to add variations or modifiers. You can also enable stock tracking for the product simply by using this toggle. If it's a composite product, so if it's a dish, there's the option to track the stock of its ingredients and you can add information about the supplier, purchase cost per supplier unit and how much stock you've currently got. This means you're never left without an ingredient. What's useful about the category section is that you can assign categories to different printers so you can make sure that the right ticket, for example hot food, is printed at the right place and in this case kitchen. You can also create your modifiers, so things like cheese or cream for example. Then we've got the iPad grid. Now this is quite a fiddly tab, but it essentially allows you to divide up all your products into pages so that when you enter a transaction it's very easy for you to find the right item that you want. You might decide you want a page for each category, so here I've got one for drinks and then one for hot food. Now stock. Stock is where you manage your supplies and purchase orders. If you set turn, turn stock notifications on, you should see your product listed here. You can also export your inventory as a CSV file. In customers, you can create a customer profile and you can add in their details. GDPR now requires you to record your customer's consent if you wish to send them any emails. So use the toggle accepts marketing to indicate if you want to send them things like vouchers or discounts. The Good Till offer a loyalty module which costs an extra £18 per month per site and it has a few more complex features such as a points based scheme but you might find that Nobly's built in loyalty module has everything that you need. There's quite a range of things you can build with it. Create a loyalty campaign here so you might say buy two products from one category and you get one for free. Or you might say, buy free of this specific item and get a 20% discount. So there's quite a lot of flexibility around the different campaigns you can create. You can also adjust to whether you want a customer to redeem the campaign voucher multiple times or if it's only valid for one purchase. Set the expiration date and then click create and you're all done. To set discounts, click on the Promotions tab and then tap Add Promotion. You can either create multi-buy, percentage discounts or create a time-based discount. So you might have a happy hour, for example. And here we've got a very basic rundown of your net sales, your transactions, the average spend of your customers, cash versus card, sales peak for the selected period and also a sales leaderboard so you can identify which members of staff are doing the best. You can export your sales data to your PC or directly into Xero or QuickBooks. This is where you get into the real nitty gritty of your business. See daily sales, taxes and sales by product, category and location. You can also see who are your best performing staff and assess your business over time. The app only displays a very basic rundown of your sales, whilst the back office has more in-depth analysis. The sales summary gives a general overview of your total sales across different tenders, your payments and tips, refunds, statistics, so you can compare with your previous period or from the same time last year. Use the search bar at the top of the transaction sheet to search for a transaction by receipt number or by staff number. 
In your reports, there are a range of different lenses that you can look through. There are sales reports, staff reports, um, tax, voids, wastage, preset discounts, sales by customer, cover report, cash management and your tabs report. So settings is where you can set up the tax rates. There's also the option to customise your receipt uh, feature, which is also available on Touch Bistro, Lightspeed and Izetto Pro. In settings, you also set your staff permissions. So you can allocate each staff member um, a list of functions that they can have access to. So you might have manager, back office access, voids, time clock only. You might allow them to apply discounts, refunds, application settings. For each staff member, you can set a different passcode as well. In staff rules, you can adjust the timing for when their screen or their cash register automatically locks and you need to log in again. Also, you can change your preset discounts. So these are percentage or fixed discounts that automatically apply to the bill if the items fall under a certain category. So you might have a Sunday lunch preset discount, for example. Then you can also adjust your printer settings. So you might have different printer stations, which is a feature also available on the Goodtill. Then we come to integrations. So here is where you would add your integrations. So your Xero, QuickBooks, Deputy, Marketman and MailChimp. Um, and these are modules which you can add on to your current POS system to help you run your business. Especially if you're a larger merchant, you might find that you need accounting software like QuickBooks to run things more seamlessly. The Good Till offers a little bit more flexibility when it comes to adding additional modules to your POS. For example, the Good Till provides support for res diary bookings as an extension to the existing table management features available in the Good Till's POS. But all in all, Nobly is designed for use by small businesses and it's equipped to keep serving those businesses as they expand to multiple locations. Like the Good Till, Nobly has an offline mode which enables payments when out of internet range. So if you don't have the best internet connection at all times, Nobly does have a way around that. The main attraction here is choice with a range of full third party card reader integrations. There's a few different types of registers and printers and a number of additional accessories and add-ons. There is enough choice here for each Nobly customer to design a package that suits their needs. And Nobly can also tap into the more complex front of house features that more advanced software like Touch Bistro offer. You can see what's happening in your restaurant at a glance and use the table management to drill down into a table's orders. As ever, store kits experts are available over the phone to guide you through setting up your perfect point of sale, including payment processing. <laughs>